one all draw at Dorchester, last minute goal again. It's a, it's a similar story, isn't it? Yeah, um, that's we've we've dropped ten points uh, in the last minute of games, which is really frustrating. Um, but uh, we've lost one game in twelve, unbeaten in six. Um, so I mean, come the end of the, come the end of the season, it could be a point gained. I mean, this is a game in hand for us tonight. So obviously, we've closed a point on on people above us. And on the positive side of things, would you have taken from the two games with the win at Hayes? Would you have taken uh, maybe the other way around and taken four points from six? Y- yeah, you, well, you would. Yeah, yeah. Uh, home game and a, an away game, four from six is, is keep doing that all season. And you never know what will happen. So. Yeah, you would. So just on tonight, your, your thoughts on the game? It was quite. It was quite uh... <clears throat> I thought. Um, I, I thought we were uh, a bit lethargic first half. Uh, I thought Dorchester started brighter. What they were were sharper to the ball. Um, there was one real chance first half when the boy hits the bar. Other than that, there's, there's nothing in it. Um, but like I said, I thought Dorchester was sharper. Just said to the boys at half time, we need to up our intensity a little bit, um, and we did that. And for 25 minutes. We dominated, scored our goal. Um, could have put, should have, well, could have, would have, should have, should have put the game to bed with a second goal. Um, I, I don't want to moan about that. That's that's a stonewall penalty and and a sending off. That's that's just a ridiculous decision not to give the penalty. We've had it a few times this year, but um, and then at the end, credit to Dorchester, they come into it. Um, they kept moving the ball really well all night. Um, but we just don't track a runner. We, we, you know, last seconds of the game, we we stopped crosses all night. We've we've um, kept them, kept Dorchester to long range efforts. Um, but listen, they kept coming, they kept coming. Um, we don't stop a cross, and, and we let a, you know uh, a runner into the box, and, and he scores. Um, and would I say I was surprised? Disappointingly, I probably would say I'm, I wasn't. Um, on reflection, I think a point's probably a fair result. But when you one nil up with a minute to go, it's, it, <coughs> it's galling. Like I said, it's ten, that's ten points now from winning positions in the last minutes of games. Which you know, is it my fault? Is it that? Oh, it's a ter- terrible habit to get into. But yeah, it's, listen, it's a frustrating night, but it could be a point gained at the end of the season. Do you think Saturday's uh, performance, obviously a big pitch and stuff, it was a tough, tough game on Saturday as well? Do you think that maybe took it out the players a bit tonight? Well, Dorchester played Saturday as well, so <laughs> you know. So I, I, I'm not. Uh, no, I don't think it's anything like that. I mean, you know, the ball moves really quick on here, and we we actually really like playing on on 3G. But Dorchester, to be fair, pressed us really well. We couldn't get a passing game go, so we had to game going, so we had to go a little bit more direct. So credit to Dorchester for that. Um, like I said, I thought <coughs> first half they they were they were brighter than us. Start of the second half, I thought we were really dominant, um, and that's where we should we sh- should score our second goal really, and um, you know. J- Put the game to bed, but we didn't, and um, got to pick ourselves up and go again Saturday. And it's a disappointing dressing room, but um, like I said, I've just said to him then, like I said, uh, only lost one in 12, um, unbeaten in six. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. And another tough trip on Saturday, absolutely. It's, you know, and then you know, Saturday, Tuesday, right through February. So, um, yeah, it's hard to put the boys all in there now with doing the right things, protein shakes, and icing up, and all that sort of thing. So how do you, um, how we'll do you pick them up for Saturday? How, how do you get them? pick myself up first? Pick myself up first, and then uh, they're allowed to be disappointed. Yeah, I don't. You know, you, as a player, I was always a bit frustrated when people after a minute after the game were like, oh, "Don't worry, lads, it's, it's going to the next game." They can be disappointed tonight. That's all right. Be disappointed tomorrow if they want. But Friday, Saturday, pick yourselves up. Another game of football. Wake up in the morning, mate. It's another day.